live from Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to Connections 50 Plus Wednesday's live show. I am Terry Ann Joseph Brathwaite. And I am Jennifer Gibbons Joseph. Hi, good evening to all the Caribbean islands, everyone in the Caribbean islands. Thanks for joining us. This is Connections 50 Plus Wednesday live show. And I am Jennifer Gibbons Joseph, one of the co creators of Connections 50 Plus. Of course, with me is the other co creator. Hi, everyone. I am Terry Ann Joseph Brathwaite. And Jennifer is not in the Caribbean islands. We have two nation states that are part of continents. <laughs> Bill, he's yes, You know, I, I, I group everyone Caribbean. <laughs> Don't let our friends in Guyanese Ghana tell you. Yeah, you're calling them an island. Eh? Yes. <laughs> oh. But Jennifer, <Welcome>. excitement. <laughs> excitement. Yes, Jen. Yes. So today, as we mentioned, and those who now joining us, that we have been, I think, for the last three weeks, Terry Ann? Yes. Two and, taking, and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. Two and a half weeks taking you along with us on our journey, New Horizons, that I call it. And that's because we have been really on this journey, preparing not just for our second anniversary that we will be celebrating on the 7th of April, but also for our rebranding. We have some new products to introduce to you. And of course, we have our website upgrade. So, we want to tell you all about what we have been doing as a lead up to the celebrations and how we have been surviving. I, I am saying surviving. But there are a lot of lessons we learned, Terry Ann, and in chatting, you know, coming to you this, this evening, we thought we're going to share some key um, lessons, I would say, we learned from the early activities and what we have been doing, you know, in preparation. And Terry Ann, one I, I want to share is one of partnership. We mentioned last week that, and we introduced you all to Richard Young, who is our creative director. And we also introduced you to Zara Kibbons, who is in charge of the videography from Zara Creations. And so we partnered with Richard and with Zara, and we have this team, we have others on the team, but Richard and Zara, oh, they were on last week because they are the key people behind our production, our video production. And I must say in the partnership, it is really Terry Ann, is needed. We actually, and, and we may have shared with you, but just in case we left that out, um, when we were planning uh, on the planning, the how we are going to rebrand and the launch, etc. cetera, Terry Ann said to me, you know, we need help here. I, we don't think we, we don't have the, the required skills. Yes, we could hire a videographer, but really, uh, and the buzzword, Terry, and as I said, is, is the creative story. I know you, you'll say it was always there, but since the COVID and looking at doing things differently in this new normal, we have to create this story. And we felt uh -uh, we needed to bring in someone. And that's how we brought in Richard. Yeah. So yes, we are creating this story. Richard has done a fantastic job or doing a fantastic job because we, we have, have not finished us yet. And um, partnering with, with them both made a difference to us, area. So yeah, definitely Jennifer. And, and the thing about it, I would say, it, it's not so much that we don't have the skills. And one of the mistakes that many, many of us of our generation that we make 
Yeah. We don't like to ask for help, especially in areas that we believe are part of our core competence. It's almost like, you know, you're, 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 you're dissing yourself or, or, or some kind of thing like that. But we realize that the world has changed. Yeah. Every, the way everybody acquires goods and services has changed. What will motivate someone to act is now different. And when you have to pivot, which is what everybody has to do. Yeah. If you try to do it yourself and you have to make a, people, unless they're traumatized, don't make radical changes. Somebody from the outside has to come in to say, would you please think about it this way? If we had tried to do it ourselves, we would have made incremental change. Yes, probably big changes, but not significant enough. And Jen, that's why a lot of people come to us because you need that outside eye. And when we said, okay, let's place our, our imaging, our story, our positioning. I remember when you were talking to me, you know, mm-hmm. most of us, when we were in organizational life or wherever we were, you'd have had the whole of the mission and the vision. And the vision is where you are going. Yeah. And it is not your current state. Your vision cannot look like your current state. It has to look like something that you desire or something that you know you have to become. And your mission uh, is really the steps and the things you are going to do to get you there. Now, if your vision is something that you are not and you're going to become, the same old steps can carry you there. And if you trust yourself to radically change yourself mm-hmm. without any external opinion, sound and board view, you're likely to be on a mission towards a vision that looked very much like what you were doing before. <laughs> yeah. So we, we took the leap and explained who we are, where we want to be, what we want to do, handed it to Richard and Zara, and boy, we are going through. But anyway, I'll give you all a little story. If you all, if you all recognize something strange around my eyes, this is also part of our, <laughs> but I'll give you that story in a little while after we give you some more jokes. <laughs> but you know, I'm what fine. I, would say, I don't have red eye. I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> what I would say also, terry in terms of having that vision and whether you're in business or not, or your own personal situation, yeah. it could be very scary because yeah. Many people, you know, you think, you, you're thinking too big. You find you should stay within your comfort zone because when you, when you think big or really want to pursue that, that dream, um, it, it could, you could just say, you know what, let me leave that alone because it's a lot to do. Mm-hmm. And the dream we have, the vision for you all, <laughs> for our followers and our clients. I mean, it's big. And we felt, listen, how are we going to do it? And for me, let me share my story here. Stepping out of my comfort zone, it was, I thought, I, I mean, I'm told many times that I'm a risk taker, that I'm brave, and I do a lot of things that different. But this one for me, <laughs> actually doing these videos and, and not just the videos, the, the scenes, the places we had to go, the type of activities we had to do to, for, for Richard to capture, you know, sure. his vision too, <laughs> exactly how he saw it unfolding, how he saw this story being, you know, unfolded. And that for me, was really, I wouldn't say a challenge. It was exciting, eh? I must say. (laughs) It was exciting. But I really, at times, felt like today at the one of the um, 
sites we use today and um, I don't want to, you know, give you all too much of it, but ask Terry Ann. I just said, Terry Ann, I am finished. I can't do this anymore. You go she ahead. Really the work. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. This is just not me. But you know what? Because I recognize I cannot give up because I'm not one to give up. Um, I have to prove that if we push through, because that's the only way, eh? that's the only way you can achieve your goals or see your, your vision, you, you know, come to light, is that you have to push forward and do the, the things that have you in many situations a bit uncomfortable, you know, but if you don't do it, you wouldn't get to where you want to go. I, I, and that is one of the lessons I would like to share here in terms of you have a vision, you have a goal. There are steps you have to take. They are not all easy steps, um, but unless you move forward and take those steps, you're not getting there. And having others to, to champion you on, you know, to keep saying, don't give up, you can do it. And actually, when you do it, to congratulate you, you know, and, and you did well and you can keep going, it makes a difference. So mm -hmm. you should always have some partners, some support system there to keep you on that track. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the lesson, Terry and I learned. As today to me was the most challenging one, you know? <laughs> and, yeah. and, and let me let me tell you how I saw today and, it's, you know, we are the 5.8G cohort, yeah. and that is a special cohort. We have experience, and when you are able to use your experience to craft something that in your soul and your heart you know is right, yeah. when you articulate it, sometimes it sounds yeah man because you're hearing yourself talking but you see when somebody takes it absorbs it and puts it back at you and you see what they heard you say you can get very scared because what they bring back to you you would say to yourself that's not where i want to go that's not what i want to do and i think the process for both because today we dealt with making, we were making the statement and we were videotaping the statement of what we are going to do. We were making the promise. We were putting it down in black and white. So it meant that we will be held accountable for this statement. And when Jen and I first read the statement that Richard put back at us, we both kind of, ooh, Jennifer said up front, no, 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 that's not, that's not what we said we're doing. No, no, no. Cut yes. that down. Take out some of those lines, cut it down. My response was, um, okay, let's trust him. Let's trust him. Let's go. Because when you broke it down, it really was what we wanted to do. But it was scary to say, are we really going to make this big commitment? And this is so much, Jennifer, whether people come for life coaching. What are they doing financial coaching? What are they doing entrepreneurship? Sometimes when you, when you tell them where they have to go, because they are, you know, I, I circulated in our group a picture of a butterfly, of a caterpillar, a pupa yeah. going to caterpillar, going to butterfly. And I said very often, we refuse to go forward, not because of, you don't know the past, but you're so afraid or uncertain of the future. And I think our, our, our process for me was, for me, it was trust. We, we told him, he yeah. interpreted, and the things he wanted us to do to demonstrate to you all that this is where we have to go as a cohort, uh -huh. they really, I mean, we were walking up a mountain talking. <laughs> we talk about the river already. We talk about the feet. Today we had to walk up a mountain and talk. The best one was the birds and tree on the boat. We didn't have to do anything traumatic. 
We just have to sit and enjoy the ride. You know, but the thing is, we have taken ourselves through different experiences, which are very parallel to the kinds of experiences we will all have to take when we pivot. And the yeah. thing about it is that at the start, we'd either have, all right, I just say, all right, trust him. We, 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 we want him to do this, trust him. You might be like, Jennifer, hello, cut that down. Take some of that out. It is not what we said. Yeah. But it is amazing as we went through each challenge and Richard and Zara, they're saying, and they wouldn't compromise, even though we were saying, can we change this? <laughs> they wouldn't. But at the end, Jennifer, when we got it done, the feeling of accomplishment, the, 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 the pride in, yes, this is what we said we're going to do. And by golly, we're going to do it. And why too? is because, as you said, we made a commitment and our commitment is to you out there, our 50 plus followers, our clients, the whole cohort. And its commitment is to ensure that you live the type of life yeah. that you want to enjoy at this stage and don't allow any barriers to keep you back. You actually breaking down the barriers and pushing forward. And yes, if we don't do it ourselves, then, and, and I mentioned that to Terian, if I am not comfortable about something, if I don't see it being possible for me, I cannot now, I can't coach someone, you know, to move forward if I am not overcoming my own barriers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that is what drove me to go beyond, as I said, beyond my comfort zone. The fact that I knew if I didn't do it, then I am, then who am I to tell you what to do? Yeah. You no? Know? Yeah. And, and then, that, that is what yeah. pushed me on. Yeah. And, and it comes again to, you know, we, we, we keep saying as we look at ourselves and the lessons in our successful, we, we use the word partnership. We use the word team. We've brought in external people, but Jan and I feed off of each other. And we, you've got you you it will you it will be so much more difficult if you choose to get into this stage on your own. Yeah. As we said, Jan and I weren't necessarily friends before. Find someone with your similar values, with similar interests who wants the same kinds of things. Don't look for a match in your personality. That won't make sense. Yeah. And whatever faith you have, believe, believe that good is, is coming to you and good will be sent to you. Stay open. Just you stay know, open. The, the, um, what I will also add, you really have to have a lot of self-confidence. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe in your skills, what you have to offer that you have, you can add value. Then, so when you're looking at a partner, you should really look at a partner that shares that same vision yeah. of value and have a lot of self-confidence. And I'm talking about the self-confidence because for instance, Terian just mentioned about the red eye. So she, she had um, a situation, unfortunate situation that created almost like bloodshot eyes. And you would think, imagine today is a day we are going to do videos. So videos a lot, close up shot. Permanent records. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, you know, Normally we are not really, and, and you all will know from, from seeing us on, on Wednesdays, we are not the heavily makeup type, but we try to have some professional makeup done for our videos. And Terry Ann this morning had to face the fact that, listen, I can't, I am still going ahead to do the videos. I have the confidence enough to know the information I'm going to share is more valuable <laughs> than the makeup <laughs> on my face. You know, that when people listen, they, what they're listening to do is information, is to get an inspiration from what is being said. 
and not everybody will have that confidence. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there are many of us who may not step out, may not do things because you feel you're here, not done the way you should do it. You didn't have the correct dress, male or female. You're not happy with how you look. You're not happy with yourself. I think that being very confident about who you are, the information you share, the mission you on, the vision you have, makes a big difference mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so this is what i want to point out because i'm telling her if she did not point out to me oh gosh jennifer you saw my eyes i say i had to look and say oh okay but not for one minute i felt uncomfortable to say well how is she going to do that video with me with her eyes that didn't matter to me at all it it, it didn't cross my mind because i knew we were both on the same wavelength. We had the same, you know, we knew what we wanted to do. We knew why we were going to do it. And we did not, that wasn't, so. you know, wasn't a, a, a aspect that we're gonna say, well, to prevent us from doing it. Yeah. So you know, that is important. Jen, it's so easy to create excuses to, to say stop, I won't do it. I won't yes. do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I, I will, I will give you all the story of of my yesterday. And it is in retrospect now that, honest to goodness, I am realizing what has happened. Um, part of and we had Richard on, and we we you yeah. know part of the whole video marketing service that we're offering is a wardrobe consultation and makeup. So yes. Jennifer and I have been. We are being coached to put makeup on more professionally. And, you know, so we have to be, because when we go out, people recognize us. So, you know, we can't go looking too scruffy. So Richard has said to me, we've gotten to the stage where, all right, I'm putting on my own makeup and I present myself. So yesterday was a sad day for me. My godfather, a family friend, was buried. He was 92. A wonderful man or wonderful life. And um, so I had to go to not only to pay my respects, but to support my parents because it's a cousin. And so I decided, no, this is a time. Let me make up myself. I felt so good in the morning. I dug in my bag and I, oh, I look beautiful. And there I was, sad event, but I made it through the event. So in the afternoon, all of a sudden, I'm feeling my eyes sort of like, <laughs> and I'm saying, oh, yeah. this must be, I'm probably just depressed or sad or whatever it is. I got up very early this morning. And my entire cornea was blood red. I remembered that there were, I have a sensitivity to pink pigmentation. And of course I had beautiful purple shadow on my eyes. <laughs> I was looking good. <laughs> and there was an eyeliner that I expertly put on, which I was proud of my little tick at the end. <laughs> but that brand irritates my eyes. And the lesson learned is, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes you, you get carried away by things that you like and you fancy, but there's a bigger goal yeah. and i literally looked in the mirror and i said how can i do this shoot today we had already mobilized people committed made commitments and we are on a time crunch and i looked at it and i said materian this is an example of the kind of challenge that we will meet yeah we, we aren't going to be perfect to show up every single time, every single day. So, okay, if you do, I did my, also everything around my, if I take off my glasses, you'll see the horror show. But <laughs> everything around my face was well done, but my eyes are bloodshot. And if you look at that video, you will see through my glasses and you say, what's wrong with Terry's eyes? But the fact of the matter is that they are my perfection is not just a, a surface perfection yeah. it is really the intent and passion and the same way jennifer pushed through to conquer a difficult script yeah. and to conquer a hill 
really in many ways we were both not in our comfort zones we were not in our comfort zones but we had if this script really represented the vision and we believed it we had to do it and we pushed through and pushed on and the barriers and walls of disbelief and doubt really came tumbling down and i think jennifer the whole exercise yeah. has it's not only given much more conf- conviction i wouldn't say confidence i would oh, yeah. say conviction, conviction. Uh-huh. that yes the path that we are taking you on is a path that will lead to a better life in the third act and the way we've tweaked and modified our services in all ways from the cost of the services to the way it's being delivered to the team that we are bringing in to help you too. So it's not just the two of us. You're going to have Richard, you're going to have um, Zara, you you, you have Maren, you have all all of our resources. You'll have Nika, you'll have Maria, all right? Helping you. And it shows that in many ways, you don't have to be perfect. You have to be good enough but your effort must be 100%. You have to also, you should believe that the future is a bright one. Yeah. You know, we are creating, as, as you have heard us say, over and over, we see the 5.8G, this stage in our lives, as a complete new stage, not as before. You know, I grew up where... I saw when I was younger, when someone reached the age of 50, don't ask 60 when they retire, oh gosh. As far as I concern, where they're going. I remember um, working my manager at the time, turned 50, had this big 50th celebration. And in the celebration, he also bought a new home. And in my mind, I'm saying, where are you going at that age? You're not going to buy. Well, he had a home before, but he bought his dream house. So that's what he was telling. He bought his dream house. And my thought at the time is at 50, you're not going to get your dream house. And you do, you know. So I was very judgmental of him, of the age, because of course I, I feel like young, I ain't reaching there. So I I saw, and not just many of us and many of you out there, I'm sure. So when you were younger, somebody in the 50s, 60s, well, don't ask the 70s, 70s, you're ready to bury them. But um, my godfather was 92 uh, and he was good until the end. I'm not knocking it because I keep my mom is still alive at 99. 99, exactly. So, So yes, so what we want to do, and we're actually doing it, is changing that whole concept of aging. That you're not on an old age stage where you cannot do anything, that you still, and that's why I, I knocked my, I, at the time, my manager for what, having his dream home at 50. Now we realize that 50, 60, 70, continue with your dreams. You could achieve all the goals you want to, to achieve. Of course, what is very important is wellness, which is what we we actually, yes. one of our programs having Maria Elias on board, is to ensure that you remain in good health, that you take care of yourself. We do a lot about self-care. And as long you you take care of yourself, you remain healthy, you know we talk about being energetic on that stage also, that you can do whatever you want to do on that stage. And I look also at recently with the US elections with with Biden and the age and people who's talking about his age and whether he could do X, Y, and Z. And I'm saying, look at this man who have achieved his goal of being president of the United States at that age. And I'm sure that was one of his goals. He did all the things moving up, moving up. I think this was the fourth time. This yes. was his fourth effort. Yes. <laughs> and he said it in one of his speeches. He said it. And that motivated me. Because I'm saying, we talk about age. That we are too old to achieve. And we're too old to do that. But we are creating that new stage. The stage is there. And there are many, many of the 50 plus already on it achieving their goals. 
So we want you to do all. We, you, we want you to come along with us, to be on that stage with us, to be energetic and happy and still go for your goals and don't think you're too old to achieve your dream house. You're too old to, to no, 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 it's not. So we, we remove age, not in all the challenges, I shouldn't say challenges, in stepping out of my comfort zone doing these videos, not once we could say, well, look, we too old to do it. No, we, we're doing it. We're going to show them that, yes, we have the energy. We may not do it as fast. <laughs> we may not be able to run up the hill, but definitely we, we reach in there. We reach the top. They will see. They will <laughs> we see. achieved, you know? So, yes, so keep pushing, you know, keep pushing. So, Jen, we spoke about two critical things. We talked about really getting in hands-on participate in your yeah. future and in creating your vision and the importance of teamwork and partnerships and so on yeah. and there are two other things you want to talk about but before we talk about those things jennifer we have to send greetings to one of our number one fans who became 86 on sunday oh, yes. <laughs> and that is Patsy Joseph, my mom. <laughs> Listen to me. This is one person every week, Wednesday. She don't wait on the Thursday, you know. Wednesday evening, call to congratulate us. She mm -hmm. don't miss it. So Patsy, I cannot sing, but again, happy birthday to you. <laughs> See, there she is out of her comfort zone. I know you're watching us, right? And saying, oh gosh, Jennifer, you can do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> so mommy from Connections 50 Plus, from Jennifer and I again, and from the whole Caribbean, the whole Caribbean behind yes. you. Happy, happy, happy. I know you had a beautiful and wonderful day. And I think Jennifer, people like your mom and my mom, uh, and, and my dad, who is 88, oh, yes. he's going to be 88 in, in November. You know, they, they've, they've went on their third act stage and they did what they had to do. And, and, but they had to do it themselves. And I'm so happy that we could be doing this and sharing it to them. And I wish you God's richest blessings and all the best. Um, you head into 105 and we, we'll be going there with you. <laughs> So I always welcome the feedback. Yes. <laughs> She's our number one fan. <laughs> okay. So I, I'm going to hear about my, my red eyes soon after. Anyway, we talked about two important elements that be willing to participate, chart your vision and go hands-on, get into it. Yeah. Don't be afraid of it. And the importance of partnership and teamwork. And there's the two others that have to go together. You know, you could be doing all that, but there is an element, trust. Yeah. Trust. And, you know, Jen and I are so, what was it, Jennifer? We were talking about something. Even when we were planning this show, Jennifer had an idea about, she had an idea and a concept and really was fighting through how to get it. And yeah that she can just put something down to me and know that it will be respected, yeah. it will be acknowledged, and I can do the same with Jennifer. Some crazy cockamamie idea, I might be too business-like in something and I get this space to rant and rave and, and carry on and have attitude, but with res mutual respect and trust, yeah. When you build your team, you have to let go and trust. Once you've defined where you want to go and mm -hmm. how you're going to get there, trust that everyone in their style and in their way, you're going in the same place. There's always something you will learn by listening. Um, listening with trust what we have to look at also what those who in looking at partnership looking to collaborate or even at home with your family members with your loved ones when you're sharing your vision or when they are sharing their vision or their goals with you terry and mentioned the listening 
the trust in. But we have to remove also, um, remove our egos. Yeah. Because sometimes when you are listening and you may think, or they're, they're talking nonsense, or they can't achieve that, or I know I can do it better than, you know, they want to take that role, but that is a role that you feel that you can even do better. Allow them. When someone tells you that this is what they want to do, it means they are passionate about it. Yeah. I'm sure when you voice that saying that this is what I want to do, the reason that you are saying that is because you truly feel you can do it and you want to be given the opportunity to do it. You know, there's a saying, you, you don't, what, you try and fail, it's better to try and fail than not to try at all. Yeah, so and, and you're allowed and you're trusting, allow people to, to follow their dreams, champion them along yeah. as against pulling them down. And this is where I, I believe us with our partnership in collaborating on certain things, even with the, um, you know, out there on the field with Richard and with Zara. Um, at no stage, you know, I'm telling you, and, and Richard was joking today, some people say, say, take a hundred, I think I will reach the hundred thing. <laughs> but at no time, even when I say, listen, I had enough, Without saying, and they say, okay, I said, Terry Ann went on, and when they felt I am cool, but I forgot I had to go back on, they will say, you know, come back on, but you did well, you know, and it encouraged me to, to continue. And I would really want us to do the same for others. Yeah. It makes a difference to help them to go along. And that is what, when we talk about trust, too, you have to trust that, you know, trust them that. Yeah, let them try and let them decide if it is that they realize maybe I should go into a different direction. Mm -hmm. you know? Because at the end of the day, once you have defined and you said, this is where I really want to go. Uh -huh. And I tell you, sometimes when you're alone, you, you know, sometimes you think of to yourself and you say, my God, you come up with ideas and you make yourself jump because your ideas are just so up there and they could be frightening if you don't have that partnership and if you don't have someone that you trust that you can be bold enough to articulate that vision and say yes i want to do this for my people or my family or my charity or i want to learn this i want to, to, to learn ballet now at 65. <laughs> <laughs> on the bone Caesar, but I want to do Bali. You must have someone that believes and will allow you to progress at your pace. Mm -hmm. And be, as Jennifer said, be your champion when you are deciding to <laughs> give up on your vision to just not you on you. You're not giving up on it. We, we go in, we keep on going. It's and when that, you'll be surprised, you'll be surprised at the skills you have. Huh? You have some, <laughs> you have inner skills and talent that you may have never known you had by and, pushing forward. <laughs> and that is what has to come out. That's what has to come out. And you know, at the end of the day, Jennifer, when we do all of that, with all of the impossibilities and challenges at the end of it, we just having so much fun. Oh, yeah. We are just having so much fun in this entire still, process. You, you, you like, you decide to go forward and do certain things, set your goals because that's what you like. Eh? Mm -hmm. So yes, during the course of it, you, you, you feel a little anxious and you find it difficult and you get the hurdles, etc. But still it's fun. You know, they have an adrenaline, guess, going pumping. <laughs> say yes i can do it and when you do it you're saying yes you know we have achieved but a lot of laughter um what i like also is also to have diversity in the team and when i say diversity i'm talking about more personalities so let me tell you a bit if you don't know it as yet that terry is the active 
actor and animated and the hands up and the dance. Dramatic. She swear. <laughs> yes, let me use the correct word. Dramatic. So, you know, in video and in, in the videography, you have to really act. You have to be a drama queen. <laughs> and she swears, I think definitely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> her skills came out there. So she overdid it a bit, in a way. <laughs> but what has happened is why Terry and being of that nature and really like the drama and acting and that, I am not, as you would realize, too. So there I am, while Terry Ann could flip in the air, I'm not going to try it. But with her energy, you know, being very energetic and, and showing that she can do it, I mean, she feels she can do it. But for me, seeing that, let me tell you, that energy, that positive energy. Of course, while she's doing all her acts, I am just laughing. I haven't found it so it isn't, isn't my fear, I should say, because the laughter and the joy. So when my turn came, I am saying, you know what? I cannot try it. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I felt like, okay, after watching Terry and yes, you can do it. <laughs> and vice versa, as she said, there are areas that I can do. I oh, I'll tell you, more. I, you am, know I am Miss Shabby. I am, I am Miss Shabby. But you see this lady across here, you know? Jennifer is always well put together. And that is what Jennifer brings from her professional life. Because yes. when you're out there, she's a unit manager. She represented the company. She's in sales. She's in face of a company. Yeah. Jennifer does not step out unless Jennifer is well coordinated. Thank you, Terry. And, <laughs> and sometimes I'll come over here and you'll want <laughs> Terry, I'll go back and fix yourself. So the balancing, the balancing yeah. is good. So, so you should never look at and someone. So and I would be like, <laughs> but, and you have yeah. the yin and yang. And it, it still is a lot of fun. That is a very, I, yeah. I find that is a very positive mix. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, sometimes people look and you want a partner to work with you or even a friend you have and you go to them and you expect them to respond in the way you would respond. No. Mm -mm. And you need that balance. You need to check yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and say, hey, I could be like that. And that's how we grow. Eh? And that's how we grow by trying. I give, I'll give you all a joke about me and Shabby Sheik and, and Zara, Jennifer's daughter. I mean, she puts it over so nicely. So we had this very difficult line that we had to say because it was the essence of what we had to do. Yeah. So I'm there focused on the line and the line and the line. And so Zara says, okay, that was a take. This isn't what I have to do now. She said, just undo your hair and do it over because you're really looking bad. <laughs> yeah. so, and, and we have fun with that because you know. it's said in a way too. It's not said in a way that to really put you down. No, but it's a fact. <laughs> You know, and you laugh and you check yourself. Now, some people may get annoyed when they're oh. being um, not really criticized, but they're, be, they're not being told to be the things that they want to hear. Yeah. But if yeah. you want to really, you know, reach, and, and we want yeah. to deliver quality. Yeah. So you if, know, we want if, to if we had Jennifer's image and my voice, it would have been perfect because Jennifer- and her acting skills, not her voice. Point. Her acting <laughs> skills, <laughs> let me tell you. So I am there, the top is fixed, a crooked, my mother would have come on the screen and put one slap on me and say, what is wrong with you, lady? But it is and when I'm, Zara said, all right, that was a practice. Now just take down your hand. No, but, but to be fair, you focusing, you focusing on the message. Yeah, yeah. You're focusing on the message. And it's not that you didn't come put together, but with all the, 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 the takes, <laughs> the take one, two, three, four, and you're going up. You kind of get a little disheveled, you know? Yeah, but um, just come put together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, I it's a lot of fun. Gardens. No, let Jennifer arrive, made up and ready. My yeah. morning, well, it started with these eyes. So when I got there, I had my clothes in a garment bag. <laughs> I had on a, 
a simple, what I would call a, a nice house dress. <laughs> Jennifer is ready. And I'm in the middle of the botanical gardens in Trinidad, undressing, dressing, and putting on makeup. <laughs> so you but understand how the day started? <laughs> it shows. And having that support. Yeah. You having that support. <laughs> so on, and we says, this is a new normal we're in. Oh, yeah. And we have to look at things differently. It is very challenging for, for some. Some people get very overwhelmed in, in different areas. Our suggestion is really to get a partner, get someone who understands you, not necessarily have your same personality at all, mm -hmm. but who understands you and can share in that vision and willing to help you along in that vision. Definitely. You know? So that, that, that is the lesson learned and have fun because you are doing what you want to do. You're doing what you, you know why if we have a lot of fun? We just can't wait for the end result. We know that we are achieving our goals. Yeah. You know, all, and Terry Ann said it today when I'm talking to Terry Ann, it's a lot of work we are putting in. You know, it has to re um, reap rewards. And her answer was, you know, if we don't put it in, there's no gain. <laughs> so you, you don't have a choice. Yeah. You can't expect to sit back and then everything falls in your lap. So yes, if we don't do what we're doing, if we don't move forward, then we stop. And, and for me, that that is really <laughs> what's the other lesson. I say, oh, that's true, that's true. Yeah, and, and for our cohort especially, and the thing is the world is, it, it's yeah. changing so fast. I mean, we we celebrated one year of, of global lockdown just was on the 15th yeah. of March, about three or four days ago. And the fact of the matter is that nothing is the same and no one, and, and this is the good news, no one knows what the future brings. That's Everyone true. has to recreate their future. What we show about it is not what was the past. And that's why we have to do what we're doing. And that's why we are preparing to help you to serve you better. And we all have to do it. Otherwise, our cohort is going to be left and people will say, well, you all get COVID, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. No, we're not leaving the stage. We've got 30, 40 years to be here and it's our stage. It's a new stage. We're yeah. building it, we're scripting it. And we're going to have a very good time while we're there. So we have to also add faith. You must have faith in the end result. Yeah. So I saying, if we sit back and said this wouldn't work or we wouldn't achieve, then you're not going to do it. Or some other excuse. Yeah. I can't do that. I never did that before. I don't like to do that. What would people say? Mm -hmm. I don't have the support. I don't have the money. I don't have the clothes. I don't have. Oh, please. what do you have? You have yourself and your energy and your brain. And, and know, have, <laughs> have that vision and know we will achieve. So we know you will be with us yes. on this stage and this energized stage and a stage that very productive stage where you will definitely achieve the goals that you want to achieve at this stage in your life. Excellent. So, Jan, mm. we've got one more minute. One more minute to hit our 45 minutes. We're supposed to be doing a half hour show. Yes. <laughs> so, I, I just want to encourage, we are having fun. I am really looking forward. You, you know, you could still, right now, we have all our programs still here, offering you the programs to help you achieve whatever you want to achieve what is in entrepreneurship, what is your financial goals, what is with your life, what is your wellness. We have all the programs we mentioned to you also. We have it in the small group and we have individual sessions. We have the individual life transition coaching sessions and it covers all these different areas I just mentioned. Oh, and yeah. Jennifer, let's not forget that third bucket of ours, the social bucket and community bucket. Uh -huh. Yes. Our tour to the swamp was so much fun. There are so many things we can do in groups of 20, 25. So wherever we're going again, we're going to issue an invitation to you 
for those of you who want to join us. We're going to tour all over and when borders open, oh, we will be island hopping. We will be island hopping. We have a surprise, Terry Ann, and I will tell you, but we'll tell them about it next week to yes. invite them on the next tour that we are exactly, going on. Exactly, yes. exactly. It's fun. So we are excited. We are having fun. You, you are on for a journey, a ride. We are going to ensure that we all build a third up stage that is, as we're going to say, allow us to live our best lives and have a ton of fun while we're at it. So yes. <laughs> until next week, Caribbean. <laughs> Bye bye from me and all the guys. <laughs> bye. Bye for now. 50 plus tribe and followers from TNT and the Caribbean. Thank you for joining us on this Connections 50 Plus Wednesday Alive show. We hope you enjoyed the lively conversation and look forward to seeing you next week. Don't forget to like and share our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really love getting your feedback. Bye for now.